what's up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel after you subscribe to the channel please click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there's something new on the channel so people as usual you know me have some things i'm gonna share with you guys so i gonna just get into the first thing so you see the man where them did a look forward here yeah? the british man with them say go for your look walk in picture they on the thumbnail. Me also go put in picture in the video. Him go for your look walk and get lost. Them find him body people. See? Body of missing British man found in St. Elizabeth after four day search. Residents in Bellards or Ballards Valley area of St. Elizabeth have reportedly discovered the unresponsive body of a British man four days after he went missing during a nature walk. The man Robert Dyer, 60, said to be a diabetic, arrived in the island on Friday and was reportedly staying with his brother. The senior citizen reportedly told relatives that he was going for a nature walk on Sunday. Dyer was reportedly found unresponsive in a vegetated area. Our news team understand that he lost communication with relatives about 1 p.m. on Monday to say he got lost. A source told our news team that Dyer's walking stick was found about 2 a.m. on Thursday. The people found his walking stick and decided that they were going to push out early on Thursday to continue the search. He was found close to Bull Savannah, so it seemed as if he made a wrong turn, the source said. Efforts to get an update on the latest development from the head of the St. Elizabeth Police, Acting Superintendent Coleridge Minto, were unsuccessful up to press time. On Thursday, Minto said citizen of Ballard Valley, Jamaica Defense Force, Airway and the K-9 Division were assisting in the search. We have already gone through miles of terrain and the search is still ongoing as we continue our efforts to locate this individual. He had said, Minto on Wednesday said scores of police personnel were among a search team. He said drones are also used during the search. So guys, this is a sad story. You know what I mean? As I said in the last video, say boy, this man good as that England all long and uh, get no look of nature. You see me? Maybe him live with a pure building there and them something there from work to home. And him just forward at Jamaica just to just enjoy the place and enjoy nature. You see me I say because it look like say that area that him come from. But him not really remember the road. So them says like him take a wrong turn and end up drop out. You see me I say. So leave your comment. In the comment section people and let me know what you think right so manchester woman accused of k-i-l-l-i-n-g cap husband to plead guilty to manslaughter the prosecution in the case against casey and blair who is accused of k-i-l-l-i-n-g her husband constable damian blair in may has agreed to accept a guilty plea to the lesser offense of manslaughter removing the m-u-r-d-e-r charge from consideration this was disclosed during this morning hearing in the home circuit court blair who is fit to plea but has mental health challenges was charged with m-u-r-d-e-r unauthorized possession of ammunition and unauthorized possession of a firearm before adjourning the case presiding judge justice Leighton pusey asked the prosecution about the other two charges the prosecution told the court that it needed additional time to have further discussion discussion with blair's attorney tamika harris and nudge mcdonald blair was further remanded until friday constable blair constable blair was kill in an alleged domestic dispute in Somerset district mandeville manchester on may 29. so here with them say people the lady, the woman, the wife have a mental issue, but she's fit to plea. You know what I mean? So them lesser the charge to manslaughter. You see me I say? So leave your comment 
in the comment section my people so we are gonna move on to the next taxi man get can seen in a m leg in a new kingston right andre johnson a taxi operator who plies the halfway tree to new kingston road was shot and injured this afternoon along nutsford boulevard in new kingston the 34 year old was shot in the leg allegedly by a policeman during an incident where he was accused of parking illegally cops on the scene declined to comment more details to come so i have one little clip i'm going to share that clip there with you guys and people you see some of them police yeah them trigger happy bad 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 them well want to use them machine you know you see me and i will leave a camera there which part that at me you know you see it so the investigators in the come them are going to be able to get some footage our really go on i mean i see the need for can up a man you see me i say if he's no danger to you because if he was a danger to you you wouldn't can him in him foot you'd have defend yourself and can him up you see me i say so more i see the outcome of this coming was say in the come i go do them investigation <laughs> so it's a little clip that people are wagwan so leave your comment in at the comment section and people boy good news to crab circle right now them 70 percent finish the bathroom for crab circle so vendors can use the bathroom and also patrons you understand so it's a good look but one thing more i ask on you know one thing say when crab circle open back and alice come out there one thing people are going to buy from our same way put in at the comment section because me personally think only people when you know what go on we buy from alice again people now go really buy from her because them just go have her as a nasty person even though tyler did it them still i go scan her the woman we bust her we feel like them i go buy from she more you know what i mean but put in a comment in the comment section see student injured in sta bbing at old arbor i vice principal of the old arbor high school in saint catherine florence Rankin has confirmed that a student was injured in a sta bbing incident earlier today the student who is on the junior shift was sta bbed on her hand during a fight with another student she was reportedly taken to the hospital for stitches by the student dean of discipline the vp mentioned she heard reports of the student's throat being s l a s h e d during the altercation but she says those reports are not true so them say a little rumor grown say our neck get back you know what i mean but nothing like that now go on see so we wish her a speedy recovery and you know what i mean the necessary thing be done for the student will do the stabbing get whole lamp on and make sure say him not do something like that or she not do something like that again you know what i mean too much of them thing you are going in at the school them you know man and most of them something you know, start from the home you see me because when me i go to school me never did a thing for do them type of thing you know, although me catching a fight with people and them way there at school but you know what i mean 
certain levels, if you reach this and you have to defend yourself, you have to defend yourself. But enough of them students, yeah, them go to school, go pick trouble and hurt other students. You see me? So make we see where go on with that one, your people. So we are going to move on to our next S-T-A-B-B-I-N-G with our next student, our next school. So our next student get juke up. This time is a boy get juke up. See, and this at me in a Manchester. Right? A 16-year-old schoolboy has been hospitalized after he was allegedly S-T-A-B-B-E-D by a great ten student at the Mile Gully High in Manchester on Wednesday. The boy's mother, Sharon Ayman, told our news team Thursday afternoon that her son was STAB in his back after an argument in a restroom with the accused. He was at the restroom and the guy come and bounced him and my son turned to him and said, Why you bounce me? The accused said to him, Do something now? And tell him, say, Ray, 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 him mother. My son retaliate and say, go S back for your mother. She explained the incident reportedly happened during lunch break at the school. It is further reported that following the restroom argument, the grade 10 student attacked the grade 11 student in a classroom and allegedly STAB him in his back. Ayman said police informed her that the accused was arrested she is questioning the school security measures. How the knife reached there, she asks. She said her son has been admitted in stable condition at the Mandeville Regional Hospital. A source at the school told our news team that the incident stemmed from a gang war at the institution. So you see it, my people. The picnic them are being all gang in a school. Seeing so right now, they have to go step up the security measures. In at the school them, even forget more security personnel in at the school them and search the picnic them before them go in at the school them. Them have to go step up security measures because we can't have all these things uh, happen in a school where picnic go for learn because you have some picnic where go to school just for get trouble and bully other students. And so me I say, so me have one little clip people of the mother and me I go share it. Grade 11. How old is he? 16. But how do you feel about the whole incident and what is happening? What? Your son is now 16. Why? Right now, I don't feel good enough. I don't feel good about the school. I come like the school. Want to, you know, come up more with more security and more behavior. They don't have any behavior and why them carrying the knife going to school? How did knife reach here? You must be seriously worried though, because I've lost your son and I've said Of course, no, he wasn't talking. And he must be doing him, holy protest. 